Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. The flowers of summer are fading fast as we head into the fall, and there's a lot of exciting aspects this fall, and here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Pluto goes direct on October 3rd. Scorpio, Pluto continues to bring slow and powerful changes to your third house of the intellect. You have a penetrating and a deep mind that seeks answers to some of life's most difficult questions. But now you must examine the process of questioning itself. Has it led you to the truth or a truth? Find the area of deepest meaning in your life. Have you been manipulated by flawed belief systems? Or is there something more powerful? If you have learned a truth, share it, but without manipulation. Mercury opposes Uranus on October 7th. Scorpio, Mercury in your first house of personality, opposite Uranus in your seventh house of relationships, can be a disruptive and confusing energy. Balance must be maintained between your personal ideas and the ideas of others. Be aware of how independent you may be acting and what your partners need from you. Selfishness may show you where you want to go, but it may not win any friends. A good leader knows when to follow their own path and when to cooperate. Good communications and wisdom avoids conflict. Beautiful Venus trines spiritual Neptune on October 21st. Scorpio, Venus is in your first house of personality and she intensifies your aura and your need to pamper yourself. If you want to really impress others, then radiate a focused, confident, and conservative energy. You have the ability to inspire other people. The trine to Neptune in your fifth house of pleasure brings inspiration and opportunities to enjoy the pleasurable side of life. Passion and spirituality mix well. If you're creative, you can add a special sparkle to your work. It may gain you public recognition. The new moon in Scorpio opposes Uranus October 27th and 28th. Scorpio, the new moon in your first house of personality, opposite Uranus in your seventh house of partners, suggests that a balance must be maintained between your personal feelings and the feelings of others. Be a little extra sensitive and aware of how independent you may be acting and what your partners may be needing from you. Looking at the world through a narrow lens will show you where you want to go but it may not win the approval of others. A good leader knows when to follow their own path and when to cooperate. Wisdom avoids conflict. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends because it's free. And if you'd like to know more about your own astrology chart, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you can register for a chart, for a natal or birth chart. All you need is your time, date, and place of birth, and all the information is on my private readings page. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll subscribe and have a great month.